Magical realism is a form of fiction which inspires many unique interpretations. It is a genre which broadly sweeps a nebulous range of expression, and as we will soon discover, throughout its history and evolution, it has viewed life's realities through a lens of mystery and magic. Origins of magical realism can be traced to 1925 when German art critic Franz Roh used the term to describe a German style of painting also referred to as the new objectivity. In the world of visual art, Roh defined magical realism as a separate entity from surrealism, focusing on magical realism's emphasis on the mysterious nature of commonplace objects and occurrences, compared to surrealism's depictions of psychologically internal and subconscious realities. The genre was later used to describe American paintings by artists of the 1940s, such as Paul Cadmus and George Tooker, who tried to capture an unconventional and uncanny style of realism in their works. Again, common components of our world were viewed with unique and mysterious perspectives. Soon, magical realism was transferred to the world of literature. Many people argue this transformation of the genre occurred in Latin America, where much literature is heavily influenced by the magically real. Latin American writers would often travel to creative enclaves in Europe, where great works of art, often of the magically real and surreal genres, were being produced. From these paintings, Latin American literary culture was impregnated with magical realism. However, in literature, magical realism took on a different form. While maintaining its mysterious outlook on realities, magical realist writers would often incorporate more fantastic elements, for example, Alejo Carpentier, who is often credited with bringing the genre from Europe to Latin America, originated Lo Real Maravilloso, or The Marvelous Reality, a subgenre in which supernatural worlds were realistically created. From here, magical realism peaked and took on its modern form, depicting a world that is realistic and our own, yet that contains supernatural elements. We see this in the writing of Latin American authors such as Colombian Nobel laureate Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who wrote 100 Years of Solitude. Soon, the naturally supernatural genre spread to many other cultures, and it is now seen in stories across the world. But after all this transformation, what exactly does magical realism mean? While pinning an exact definition seems to go against the loose and mysterious nature of the genre, certain qualities are often present within it. For example, the stories often contain authorial retinence in which the author or narrator withholds certain information and detail in order to create a more natural and realistic narrative. Perhaps most importantly, in magically real works, the narrator and those subjected to the magic are never surprised by the fantastic elements which surround them. And because of this, the reader, listener, or viewer accepts them as well. Unlike fantasy, which often creates an entirely different and unacceptable world, magical realism is a reality like ours, sprinkled with out-of-place and indescribable, yet believable, elements of magic. To illustrate this defining aspect of magical realism, I have used upbeat, catchy music that doesn't fit with what's being said in this video. However, up to this point, I have treated this as a normal, matter-of-fact component of the reality that is this presentation. One might expect mystifying, ambient music to accompany a video explaining the unique nature of magical realism, but the odd and out of place has been accepted as normal. In modern society, we witness magical realism quite frequently. It is prominent in the works of modern Japanese filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki, his stories, such as Howl's Moving Castle and Kiki's Delivery Service, occur in our world, often in past time periods, but contain certain fantastic elements, such as a magical moving castle owned by a wizard, or a young witch who runs a delivery service on a flying broom. These magical features are completely accepted by the characters in Miyazaki's stories, and it is with this method that his stories become very realistic and unique. Also, in the popular animated television show Avatar, The Last Airbender, Certain people are gifted with the ability to control the physical elements. This magic is commonly accepted in their Earth-like, pre-industrial society, and because of this, the audience accepts it as well. Magical realism has been with us for almost a century now, and with its ability to entertain, puzzle, and enrapture us, it will likely be a valuable and evocative style of expression for many years to come.